going to talk about this one for sure. <laughs> a hero can come from anywhere. Manhattan, Brooklyn, even other parts of New York City. <laughs> Where are you from? Queens. But now, the MCU asks you to imagine the impossible. Could anything good come from Jersey? <laughs> yeah, buddy. Jersey. Time to GT Triple L. Jim Tan, lay my life on the line for you, Bennies. Let me slam a hoagie and take a shadoobie first, though. <laughs> this Marvel. Iman Vellani stars as Kamala Khan, the first Pakistani American in the MCU to not play an Indian guy. Bye. <laughs> when a magic bracelet unlocks her inner Mario Maker, <laughs> she'll join the MCU's next wave of cool female heroes who have to carry the heavy burden of standing for Captain Marvel. I know, some of you think, well, she abandoned the people of Earth, but like, look, it's, it's not true. Can a woman just live? Oh, so that's where her stretching powers went. Carol Danvers went away. She'd punch a hole in space and time and she'd help them now. Yeah, and then she'd blow up your brother's wedding <laughs> in a Red Sox jersey. <laughs> Kamala must learn to come out of her shell at school and learn to be proud of who she is, which she'll accomplish after one episode. <laughs> Immediately. Is that then spend the rest of the time running from damage control. Yeah. The department Disney activates when Shuri posts an anti-vax video. <laughs> I mean, oh, the group geez. responsible for controlling all the damage that they themselves create. Yes. They already blew up my apartment. They're all locked in a battle against the clandestines, exiles who want to return to their world, even though it's made of glass shards. It turns you into a spooky skeleton <laughs> and gives your only son a cosmic tummy ache. <laughs> Not a great plan. But Kamala won't face another poorly developed Marvel villain alone. She's got three helpers spread evenly across the kind of geek, the questionable <laughs> bad boy spectrum. Bruno, a swagless Peter Parker. Can't really train today. Oh. We don't hook up with Bruno, no, 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 no. The hunky movie geek comrade. Do you like watch Bollywood movies? Obviously. And the other hunky movie geek, Kareem. <laughs> Come with me if you want to live. What? Yeah, I've always wanted to say that. Two hunky movie geeks in one show? <laughs> sure. And of course, back at home <laughs> is Kamala's doting mother, who starts out not trusting her at all. No, I don't trust you. But after her daughter keeps disappearing in foreign countries for hours at a time, <laughs> totally learns her lesson. And we trust her, right? <laughs> oh, that makes sense. Right? So enjoy a show Disney clearly didn't believe in, or they wouldn't have buried the first three episodes under Obi-Wan. <laughs> Which is a shame, because the directors made it look cool. It's an American show that's not full of evil Muslims for a change. And oh, by the way, it officially brings mutants into the MCU. There's something different in your genes, like a mutation. Come for the origins of X-Men. Stay for the origins of Pakistan. We must go back to a pivotal moment in the Indian struggle for independence. Starring the fantastic Noor. Marty McShy. <laughs> Don't tell mom the superpower spread. Oh, yeah, I've got a girlfriend. She's another dimension, though. You would know her. Kareem Abdul Dagal. <laughs> another MCU Nakia? How we run out of character <laughs> names already? <laughs> Mad about Yusuf. Okay. Deaver and Cleary. Damage control. Oh, I get it. The bad guys are DC. <laughs> Quentin Tarantino. Somebody stole my <laughs> shoes. Uh -oh. Bad joke. Oh, God. Again. We are trying to drop the name okay. Nightlight. It's a bad name. It just sounds like it's for five year olds. Red Daggers. What are you in a Pakistani boy band? And when you know you're really in trouble. Kamala Khan. Kamala Khan, you're not going anywhere. <laughs> I know this is the worst possible time to ask, but. Kamala Khan. <laughs> Next of Jin. Next of Jin. <laughs> That's actually a good. You one. know, after watching this in RRR last month, I think we can all agree on one thing: nobody on Earth likes the British. <laughs> I have not seen this movie. This episode was presented by IKEA. Start your heroic higher ed journey at ikea-usa.com/backtocollege. Yeah, it's days like these that I curse the Chinese for inventing gunpowder. It's always say this epic voiceover guy and never how is epic voiceover guy. <laughs> Aw, thanks. <laughs> okay. Thanks. So, Miss Marvel.
What did you think of the show? I overall liked the show. I wasn't enamored with it. I wasn't like, oh, I got to see every episode. I waited for the whole season to end before I started watching it. I did stay away from spoilers, which I did a really good job of that. So I didn't watch any videos on the show. I didn't watch any videos on the character that people were putting out. I wanted to stay away from spoilers as best I could. And I did a good job. And the show was fun. I liked the way the show was filmed and, and some of the animation that was added in and just the, the, the quirky teenage stuff of how the show was presented to you. It gave me feelings of Spider-Man Homecoming to a degree. I uh, just had that same kind of feel. And I liked that. And I feel like this was actually done in a better way than the Spider-Man movies have been done as far as like just the high school drama and all that kind of stuff. This was more fun. Uh, as far as the action and her powers and the clandestine and the gym and all that kind of stuff, it was cool to kind of learn about some of that, but it wasn't like, oh, this is awesome. Oh, we learned something great. Oh, like it wasn't mind blowing in any way. Even her being a mutant, I felt was a good way of changing her up from being an inhuman because in the comics, she's an inhuman. That's hard for me to say that. She's an inhuman. There we go. Uh, in the comics. Unless they change something there, but that's why I remember of the character. And she was more like Mr. Fantastic. She could go big. She could go super small. Uh, she could stretch. Well, I guess that's more like Mr. Fantastic. She could stretch, uh, but she could go, she could make herself bigger and she could also make herself tiny. And this one, they kind of went just with the bracelet, which I thought was two bracelets, but it's just the one bracelet. And they changed her powers up a little bit, but they also make her a mutant, essentially. Like she's the first mutant in the MCU that we know of at this point. So, it's interesting, but I like how they went with that. It's kind of like, hey, let's bring them in this way. Uh, they've already been here. That's more or less kind of how I see it. They've already been here, and this is it. So uh, I guess that's what it is. Uh, but the show didn't really have any highlights for me, really. It was just kind of a fun teenage action drama show for the most part. It was It was cool to see how the family really came together and accepted her powers and wanted her to be a hero. That was pretty cool, like right from the start, really. There was really no pushback on that. Once they found out she had powers, they were like, hey, we're good with this. It's all cool. We're going to help you out. Uh, so I like that aspect of it. I wonder how that's going to play into the movie, The Marvels, or if there's going to be a season two of this show, Miss Marvel, uh, if that will kind of put them in danger. Like That's kind of how it always goes. Like Your family or people that know who you are as far as a superhero, they always get in danger in some form or factor. So... I'm sure that will happen at some point, uh, but uh, yeah, it was cool to see that aspect because it was different from what we've seen, uh, mainly because it happened so quickly that they accepted it. That was I was fine with that. They had to change it up so it wasn't kind of the same Spider-Man scenario uh, or Iron Man scenario. It's like, hey, let's, she's a superhero. We're, we're all for it. There were a lot of aspects of the VFX that looked cheap, like didn't really look all that great uh, with the powers. So like, I'm hoping that they really improve on that in the movie, The Marvels. Um, and then her suit was cool though. Her suit was actually pretty cool. I, 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 like, I like that uh, and just the upgrade because she's a Captain Marvel fan, but then she gets her own suit at the end. That was cool and it looked good. It looked good, it was, it was mostly comic accurate. I enjoyed that piece of it. Uh, but I did really like the, the, the history that you get just on India and what the Indian people uh, had to go through. Um, that was actually really cool. Like her kind of going back in time or being transported, like I, I forget a little bit of that, but that was actually a really cool scene. That was dope. And there was aspects of that that even felt somewhat like Moon Knight to a degree, just as far as like how it was filmed. Not that there was like a whole God situation and all that, but just how it was filmed. Like it felt, it felt different. It felt fresh. And there was a lot of aspects of this show that felt fresh, just as far as how they went about it. Again, not really my demographic, obviously, but well, my kids enjoyed it and, and I had fun with it binging the episodes because it's only six. I just I took two days and I just watched them all. And um, I was like, cool, that was that was cool. I wouldn't do it again. I probably won't watch them again. But <laughs> but I'm excited to see what happens in the movie, The Marvels with Captain Marvel and, uh, and Maria Rambo. And uh, is it Maria Rambo, right? Yeah, from uh, WandaVision. And then uh, Iman Vellani as, uh, as uh, Kamala Khan, Ms. Marvel. It's going to be interesting to see kind of how all that plays out and, and what ramifications from this play into that movie. If there's going to be other mutants, what's going to... Kind of what's going to go down. I'm excited for that. I haven't really been that hyped for a lot of Marvel stuff. Uh, obviously, there was a lot of uh, San Diego Comic-Con uh, news that broke out. Trailers. The Wakanda Forever trailer looks amazing. I wasn't really hyped for that movie at all. Uh, but it does look amazing. I'm still on the fence. Or I guess the side of the fence that they should have recast T'Challa. But um, I, I like this aspect of it because I was telling a buddy of mine, Armando, what's up if you're watching? Um, 
I was telling him that uh, I like that Wakanda in this scenario now with the new movie coming out can really shine more so than any other civilization we've seen in the the MCU. Uh, Asgard could have been that, but we really never got to know the people of Asgard all that much. And even what they're doing in Thor Love and Thunder uh, made no sense to me. Like this, why would you have an infinity gauntlet, you know, ice cream shop and... Thanos pretty much wiped out most of your people after Asgard was already destroyed. Uh, it, it was kind of a weird scenario, but uh, Wakanda Forever looks great. So I am excited for that. And there's a few others I'm like, okay, let, let, let's see what happens. But I'm not trying to get too hype. I am really happy about Namor, though, because Namor was the first comic that I ever had. My dad gave me that, and I grew up like loving that character. So um, I'm excited for that one and just kind of see how they go about his origin, because you obviously see moments in the trailer where we're probably going to see how how he came up uh, to, to be king. So, uh, yeah, that should be cool. But as far as this show, it's there. Uh, it, it brings mutants into the MCU. That's probably the biggest thing it does for me here. But even the way that they do it is kind of like, eh, whatever. Uh, but there are some likable characters, and that that part I do enjoy. Let me know your thoughts on Miss Marvel in the comments below. Let me know your thoughts on the Honest trailer. Honest trailer overall is okay. It was, <laughs> had some funny parts. Uh, but even the way it ended was like, it was weird. It ended and I didn't really expect it to be like that was it. When I was talking about the history of India and, uh, and you know, just the, the hate on the British and all that kind of stuff. It ended in a weird way kind of to me, but that's just me. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I'm hoping that Ryan George does a pitch meeting on this. That would be awesome. I think he can do a good job. We'll see. Overall, thanks for watching with me. Thanks for laughing with me. I appreciate all of you guys, whether you're a member, a subscriber, or just a watcher, however you support. It's really awesome that you do that. I hope you have a good win and I will see you guys on the next video.